Have a very merry vegan. How cheesy is that? <laughs> it's perfect. Hi friends, it's Sam, and today I am gonna make vegan peanut butter cups. These are so good. They are so amazing. They are so addictive, but they're really super easy to make. I've noticed a lot of recipes around the internet, freeze the chocolate and freeze the peanut butter to make the peanut butter cup. This recipe is not that. I'm not a fan of frozen chocolate, and I love, you know, those like classic Reese's peanut butter cups that have that kind of dry, come crumbly peanut butter mixture in the middle. My dad's calling me. Hello? Delicious, easy, fantastic to make. Everyone's gonna like them. So let's get making peanut butter cups. So first things first, grab yourself a bowl and a, ooh. Natural peanut butter, any brand works. The ingredients should be just peanuts, and maybe some salt, that's it. Peanut butter, yum, perfect. Quarter cup of powdered sugar. Now you just need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beautiful. And lastly, a quarter teaspoon of salt. So easy, just four ingredients for the filling. Now I'm just gonna mix it together and it's gonna become this kind of dough consistency. Okay, so that's the filling, super easy. So now let's hop over to the stove and melt the chocolate. If you don't know what a double boiler is, it's just a pot with another pot or bowl over top of it. So this is my hack of doing it. Just make sure you have a 100% heat proof bowl. This is 1950s vintage Pyrex, a metal bowl that would work great, but just make sure you don't use like a glass bowl that isn't, doesn't say it's heat proof, doesn't say it's oven proof on it. Um, otherwise it might crack and we don't want to do that. So you just have a little bit of water underneath, make sure it's not touching the bottom of the bowl. Pop your bowl in, and now we can bring that water to a boil. And now to this bowl, I'm gonna add the chocolate chips. Uh, these are vegan chocolate chips. So I want one and a quarter chocolate chips. Um. Now the reason you wanna use a double boiler is because chocolate can burn very easily, and if it burns, even just a little bit, it'll completely ruin your chocolate and you'll have to throw it out. So this just prevents it from burning. It's a little, a little safety, and we like to be safe in this kitchen, you know? Chocolate chips are starting to melt. Just give them a gentle stir while they're melting, and they are looking delicious and gooey and chocolatey. Melting chocolate, delicious. Once all of the chocolate chips are melted, remove them from the heat. Ta-da! Removed. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop out back over to the counter and we are gonna start assembling these vegan peanut butter cups. Okay, we got our melted chocolate. Delicious. Careful, the bowl is very hot, so don't burn your little fingers. What else do I need? I'm gonna use a cupcake pan, but if you don't have a cupcake pan, a normal tray should work fine as well. This just helps make sure everything stays nice and in shape. So I'm just gonna line my little baking pan here with my cups. I'm just gonna take a little bit of chocolate and coat the bottom of each one. A little spready spready. You can use your spoon to kind of spread it around a bit. This is gonna get messy because it's chocolate, and chocolate is delicious and messy. It does not have to be beautiful because this is just the bottom of a peanut butter cup. No! Ooh, that was close, did you see that? Oh. Nothing is worse than when your spoon gets covered in gooiness, I hate that. So this recipe will make 12 peanut butter cups. Uh, so that's what I got here, 12 wrappers. Now I'm gonna take my peanut butter dough. I find that sometimes this comes out gooier than other times and that's totally fine, doesn't matter. Just make a little gooey spot and plop it in the middle of your peanut butter cup just like that. What you wanna do is just make sure that your disc is just a little bit smaller than the chocolate so that you the chocolate will be able to go around the edges. These do not have to be pretty by the way. The chocolate will fill in all the badness and make everything look perfect and gorgeous. One of the amazing things about chocolate. The problem with this peanut butter Filling is that you just want to eat it all. It tastes so good just the way it is. Last one. Mmm. Peanut butter filling. And now you just take another big spoonful of chocolate and cover that peanut butter, making sure some of the chocolate goes around all of the edges of the peanut butter cup. 
If your chocolate starts get is a bit cool now and it is getting a bit firm, just pop it back over the double boiler again and remelt it. If you run out of a little bit chocolate, just melt a couple more chocolate chips. This is not rocket science, it's very easy to do. And the results are amazing. Just want to make to tap them down a bit so the chocolate levels out on the top. Beautiful! You'll see that the chocolate is now nice and smooth on the top. Okay, now I'm just going to pop these in the fridge to chill for about 30 minutes and then they'll be done and ready to dine on. I love it. I'm so excited. A few moments later. Okay, my peanut butter cups have set. Um, they are now good to eat. You can store them in an airtight container at room temperature. They don't have to stay in the fridge anymore. They are good to go. You can just peel off the wrapper or if you're trying to like serve it to someone, you can trim the wrapper down. I just like to peel it off. And there you go. How perfect is that? So gorgeous. So amazing. Just like a classic peanut butter cup. All the yum. All right, time for the ultimate taste test. Mmm. Mm. These are dangerously good. They taste just like a classic peanut butter cup. It's got that amazing filling. It doesn't like leak out or anything. You make these, everyone will love you. Everyone will be your new best friend and everyone's gonna be shocked that you made these because they are so delicious and they seem way more impressive than they actually are to make. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure to hit that like button, show me some love so that I know that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more fuss-free vegan recipes and other fun tidbits. You'll never know what comes next. And I'll see you next time. Bon appetit! Again. <laughs> Put pee 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 pee. It just means that maybe you are. It just means. It just means. I uh, love it. Melty, messy chocolate. So delicious. Not nutritious. I don't care about that today, because it's Christmas. Chocolate all over myself now. Delicious. <laughs> and other fun tits. Tits? No. <laughs> and other fun tidbits. Are you selling the peanut butter? Yeah, you want peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs>